It could be your family. It could be the circle where you see that all, you are just in the midst of failure. You are in the midst of people who are not succeeding. You are not doing, in people you are find yourself in their midst is not a dream of the kind of life or the kind of people you want to be. Tell your neighbor, come out of them. When God look at the life of Abraham and the destiny and what he prepared him for, know you live fully well that if Abraham continue like this, he will end up like his father. God said, come out. That was, look at that Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 now. And God said to him, now, the Lord said unto Abraham, he said, get thee out of thy country, from thy father's kindred, from thy father's house. Leave your people if you want to be different. Leave their environment completely. Now let me show you what God saw. Let me show you the reason why. God told Abraham to leave. Genesis chapter 11. Let's look at it from verse 27. Now, these are the generation of Terah. Terah is the father of Abraham. Terah begat who? Abraham. Nahor and Haran and Haran begat Lot. Look at it very well. Now, these are the generations of Terah. Terah begat who? Abraham. Abraham is the first son. And I'm going to pray for every first son in this family because Lord, they are carrying as much. At times you see some first sons and first daughters, they are not succeeding because the family load rests on them. And I pray for you, you are a first son in this house, what cage others won't cage you. Yeah. Let's go. Verse 28. We are stopping at 32. And Haran died before his father, Terah. In the land of nativity, in you are of Chadi, of the Chadis, of Chadis. Wait. Now, let's go back to 27. Follow me this morning. I want to show you something. Go back to 27. Abraham, Nahor, and Haran. And Haran begat Lot. Haran happened to be the dead son. Go back to that verse 28. Let me show you why I repeated verse 27. And Haran, the third son, died before his father. Before his father, Terah, in the land of nativity of the year of Chadis. Now, do you know what happened? Upon the whole three sons who married, it was the third son that first gave birth to a child. And before you know, the one that gave birth died and left the son, Lot. That was why Lord followed Abraham because his father died early. It was Abraham that raised that boy and he took him along. Every parent in this house, stretch your hand toward this altar, shout it in the name of Jesus. I will not die young. Shout it in the name of Jesus. I will give birth to children. I will train them. I will see their children, children. In Jesus' name. Shout it in Jesus' name. Rise up, put amen. amen. Now, prayers like this is important. Don't say I'm young, I'm healthy. No, there are some people who are no sick, they die. True of us. Something happened at the beginning of this administration that gave me prayer point that week. Let me remind you, some of you, they forget news. One Mr. James, who was a minister of labor, was, I think it was labor minister before this present one. James will change something, I think, from Benway. Huh? Or Charlie, right? Something. Uh -huh. That died in motor accident with a wife. Am I correct? Now, big man, children, suddenly turned to offer. Whether one of their children died along with them in that motor accident. How many of you remember? Immediately they swear the man in as a minister in this nation. The day they were buried the man, I was crying in my room. I said, Father, may I never get to the level I want in life and never stay to perform. And most times, these are what others can do. 
Even they say the driver who drove the car not die you, but the man where he carry die. The wife die. The son die. Not just that the man died. Now the children they left behind. Children when they see food to chop. Now they don't turn to orphan. Now as me and you they talk now. Who know where those family, how that family look like? Stretch your hand. Repeat the shout. The father. <laughs> Altar of my father's house. Hear you the word of the Lord. You will not mess me up. In the name of Jesus. Put a man that carry power. Had and gave birth to Lot. I never saw Lot grow. Let's leave that one. Let's move again. And have an Abraham. And now he took them wives. And the name of Abraham's wife was Sarah. Wait, do you know many of us? Now, let me tell you. When order is involved in a man's case, you will see mistake upon mistake. Even when you regret of the first mistake, you see that thing repeating itself. Now, Abraham, his father wanted to call him Abraham. The altar closed his tongue and he cut it off. Abraham. He said, Abraham. He called Abraham. He wanted to marry. Instead of marrying Sarah, he married Sarah. Thank God for God who is a God of second chance who, are, who amended their destiny. Now, do you know what it means? A man with battle, marry a woman with battle. Many of you, you left your father's house thinking it's better. Now you enter marriage. You look as if it's another war. Somebody share the blood of Jesus. That is not where I'm still going. Let's read. Verse 30. Is it 30 now? Okay. Let's go to 30. Media, give me 30 now. But Sarai was what? She had no child. Verse 31. Now let's read everybody. We are stopping at 32. And Terah took Abraham his son. And Lot, the son of Haran, his son's son. And Sarai, his daughter-in-law, his son, Abraham's wife. And they went forth with them from Ua of Chadis to go to the land of Kenan. And they came to Haran and dwelled there. This is still not my message, but permit me to say something. Do you know what it means? It looks like somebody who is going to Lagos and he got to Ijabode and he stopped there. If you trace the history of Terah, Terah was still a man who never lived a complete life and fulfilled life. There are a lot of people on earth who dream, but they never see their dream get fulfilled. There are people who desire something, but they never come. Expectation is not yet enough until it becomes a reality. Are you hear what I'm saying? I want to be a lawyer. I want to be, but when you took your step, were you able to fulfill that that dream? If the answer is no, something is wrong, and that is what we must address this morning. I pray for you. Whatever you started, you will finish it. There are some young ladies. There are ladies. Who are, who, are, who are delayed now, not that they have not seen suitors before, men will come but when it is the time for them to perform the duty of a man, they walk away a young lady saw a young man I mean a young man saw a young lady sorry, and approached her for marriage and they agreed and as the journey of the courtship started the man said to the lady, you know I don't have job yet as a graduate Let's still pray if I can get job. Then let me, because marriage requires money. The girl said no problem. The girl entered prayer. Prayer. And he, he told the boy, if, I truly, if I'm truly the wife you are waiting for. The Bible says, he that find the wife, find it a good thing and obtain it favor. That things must turn around for you. And the girl engaged in serious prayers. And God so kind, the young man got a good job. When I mean good job, in less than just one year, life changed. The gear caller now say, and now is one year, and I see you are earning well. Hey, what do we do? He say, it should wait, it should wait. Almost a year and a three months, 15 months, he called the girl. He said, to be sincere with you. To be sincere with you. You know, I'm, a, uh, I'm an educated person, and I now want to stay further while I'm still working. 
you know, you know, he said, you are a nice person, very nice person. He said, but, but, just, I, I will, what kind of business do you wish to do? I can just start it for you. I can just help you. You can continue your life. Let me look for someone at my level. At my level. Oh, you didn't know your level before you see me. When I was doing fasting and prayer, I forgot that I am not your level. I didn't go to school. I wasn't that well educated. He said, the young girl, the man said, no, 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 that's not, I didn't call for me to join. He just say what he want to say because the way I'm seeing things now, I want to rearrange my life, I want to do this uh, because he got the opportunity. But it was somebody that went on, on her knee for things to change. The girl declared, the boy didn't mind her. He said, that, 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 is it not courtship? He's not a do or die affair. The girl said, it's not a do or die, but I know what this courtship has cost me as a child. Dry fast and I was fasting, crying on your behalf while you are sleeping. And I keep telling you that God promised that things will turn around. And suddenly things turn around. He wants to leave me. And he left the girl. Now let me tell you another thing. I, I traveled to one state. So I entered a place, a very big business. I, I think I visited there more than once or twice. So one of the ladies there knew I'm a pastor. So one day, when I got to that stage, she said she wanted to see me and she came. He said, Pastor, please, reason this thing with me. He said, there's one of our customers. Okay, they have businesses and also they have both guest house. He said, there's one of their customers who is their customer and also he lodged in their guest house whenever I flew them to Nigeria. He said, the boy told her she's not married though. Help me look for a fair woman who is as good as you are. And she's busy finding. I called her and said, you know, you get brain. When she told me, he said, Pastor, if I wait, make I arrive. I said, no tell me more than this. And you are looking for, he said, you are, you say I'm too black. He said, he like my character, he like everything about my color. I said, my sister, something is wrong with you. He liked everything about you now your color. If you still like your color. He said, the boy said, I tell you, the boy will come and drop the, the briefcase he brought to the office of this lady. He said, one of the day, this girl, more than at the time when he tried to try this girl, the girl said, he called him and said, come and carry your briefcase. He said, no, leave it there. He said, it was the second day the boy came. The young man, sorry, but the man came. To carry the briefcase. You know, I call this You want to put him for trouble? I didn't, I couldn't go because of this your briefcase, should in case you come in the night. I say it was there. when the man came to carry the briefcase, he opened the briefcase and he noticed it was hard currency that was inside that briefcase. He said, he shouted, he said, he lost, he said, no. Thank you. He said that was the first. I say at the time, every even when he wants to send something to the family because he has business abroad. He'll be sending through this lady. He's running around for this man. But he said, I want to also marry you. I like your kind of person. You get good character. You are sincere. I like your height. But I don't like your color. My dear, this is what altar can do. But I asked the girl, I purposely asked the girl, if the man said today he wants to marry you, will you like to marry him? You know what the girl said to me? He said, this is the kind of man every woman would dream of. He said, the man is a multi-millionaire and he's a child of God. But he told him, I said, I like your kind of person, but now you're calling her, I don't like. Face to face. And he, 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 is it not an insult? And you feel it, tell her, say, find your type. And you maliciously they find. Shout the father. I am qualified for that honor. She didn't understand that something is telling you, you this one no fits you. This one. He said the man said it that if not, I would have said, but ah, but I'm good to run around for you. He even told me that when the boy bought one property here, yeah, it was through a hand he passed that money because he said some of the family member he had passed money through their hand and that money couldn't didn't complete. 
You are even playing the role of a wife already, not even a fiancé. But yet, you are not good for anyone. Hear this. Many of us, when we reach work, we are qualified. But when we reach harvest, we are not qualified. A, a woman met me, say, pray for me, something is wrong with me. I have brothers who are multi-millionaire. When they have problem, they will call sister, you are a prayer warrior. Pray for us. He said, but when God bless them, they know they remember me. Three of their brothers live, one in a, uh, two in America, one in, in Germany. Do they say that a, a standard family, they are, the same mother, she's the only girl among them. They have bought car, give so many of the buy bus, give the other family. The woman tell me, say, could you imagine that my own brothers have bought a car for about three people in the family, but me, their only sister, who they call, he said their parents already died early. They have never remembered to send bicycle. And those one who come, see our brother, say, greet your brother, oh, hey. They have been trying. And she herself, her husband, the driver, Kada. How can you have multi-millionaires? Huh? Let me just say, you, you, sleeping, in fact, you are in the middle of the river, but so there you are. When altar is fighting a man, people who are supposed to help you will never feel your pain. Talk to me. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. When altar is covering a man, your helpers will be looking at you. You'll be dying. They will not shake body. Shout the father. Any ancestral altar covering my glory, I pull out. Now sit down. Hear this. The greatest gift men and women can give you is when they feel your problem. Did you hear what I said? If they don't feel what you are going through, they can never carry your load. But if they feel your pain, I, I think one of the services I said, when you ask people for something and they gave you, they assisted you. Don't tell me they favored you. What, what is favor? When men remember you without you asking. And that's a prayer I want to pray for you. From today, those who are your helpers, wherever they are, may they wake up and remember you. Those who are your destiny helpers in life, who are there to help you, who God has positioned, who has abandoned you, shouted, My destiny helpers, help wake, wake up! Some of them are sleeping, they don't even remember about it. Shout, My destiny helpers, help wake up and remember me in the name of Jesus. Put amen three times. Sit down. I still saw another thing that pained me so much. One day I was a, that was in the other side of the church. A young lady in the counseling section. When it goes to her turn, she told me the state where she, where, where she came from that somebody directed her. That if I pray for her, that things will change. What is the problem? He said, Pastor, look at my age. I'm close to 30. He said, I have a father who is a multi-millionaire. And he said, the father does not live here. The father lives in America. All the father's children, they are in America. And I asked her, what kept you here? He said, before the father traveled out of the country, he knew the mother they entered the journey of marriage. The mother got pregnant and gave birth to this girl. So then now the man is trying to travel. He even promised the mother, he said, okay, let me travel first because I don't even know what the journey will look like. And after he traveled, they didn't turn up on time. The mother of that girl, now carried the girl, gave to the mother of the man. He said, when's your son who I'm waiting for refused to remember that he left a woman here, I cannot be waiting because woman's time, they pass. The family of the woman told the young lady, drop that girl, find your way. No food, nothing. He said that was how the mother dropped her and walked away and married. After about five years later, the, the father now came. Had her five to seven years. 
He said by then she's already a little bit grown up. The first time seeing the father. Because he said it's like, it was like the woman gave birth to that child in the absence of the man. So I think he said when she was close to 10, or around 10, the father came and saw her and told her, my daughter, I will give you the best. Hence, your mother couldn't wait for me. No problem. He said the father gave all kind of promise. But when he now came back after that one, he now told the mom, now I am set for the marriage. Hence, the woman I'm waiting for didn't wait. Let me look for another person. That was how he got another person married and took that one to America. When he got the girl said, after that, he papa know the ass of high gay. I asked her, I said, your papa know they come. He said, pass away. He said, he do come. Imagine whenever, he told me that whenever the father comes around, he's the father at that time that produced security. He said, when the father is moving, you think that he's a governor moving. Because of the, his level in this nation, people he knew, how God blessed him. He said the father built a house outside the main compound. He said up to that time she's still living with the grandmama, but the grandmama no try. I wish I see that woman. Do, you, do your father take care of the grandmom? Say 100%. He or say, well, he said no school. Nothing. He said that her father People he gave, the, the man gave scholarship up to university level. They are more than 20. That when they come back, community will come and pay homage. People are coming. He said one of the days, she summoned courage after prayer to go to the, the, the father's house, where the Papa Bill house, where he stays whenever he come around. When she neared the gate, he saw the mobiles that food the gate. And he told him, said, I want to see my father. It's only that word I said. Say one cock gun, say you be witch. Your father, I say yes, my father. Another one said, before I change my mind, get out of this place. Now he tell and say, my father. That one tell them, say, the other children we know, all of them are in America. No one is here. They no let her enter. He said to this, and even one day inside the crowd like this, I said, Papa, the pass, we move down food there. They call and daddy, daddy. He said, No, even turn. Look where she did. He said, Pastor, how will you pray for me? May, let my father remember that he has a first daughter. He said, School, I no go. I'm just running around. But my father is a multi millionaire helping people. If you come, the governors will come and pay homage, senators. He said, But me, he said, he said at times people doubt my story. Do you know what I saw? Somebody turned the man's face. I pray for you. In that family, there are people who are supposed to help you that they turn their face. Somebody had a fire. fire. Whoever that have used any altar to cover you, fire. somebody had a fire three times. Fire. 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 I pass the decree. Whatever author is anywhere to ridicule your life, in the name of Jesus, you are liberated. Amen. See that when she narrated her story, she, you need to see her cry. I encourage her. I encourage her. Now, look at why God said to Abraham, Leave your father's house. I want to show you the history about Terah, Abraham's father. He came from shame, the promised seed. Do you know what I mean by promised seed? He came from a good family. He came from a good family, but it was a bad seed. I, hear, I went somewhere where somebody, I heard a man calling somebody say, a good son, he said, a bad son of a good man. How did he say, how, which can you name be this one? He was calling a man. I don't know the name, I would have asked him, this one, the name I've been, are you just, he called this man, he said, he said, he said, bad son of a good man. 
Because a good man must produce a good son. Genesis chapter 9, 26 and 27. Let me show you. Genesis 9, 26 and 27. He, he came from Shoen. I mean Shem. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem. And Canaan shall be his servant. You did hear? From a blessed family, but he was not carrying blessing. Now, let's look at the next verse. God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tent of Shem. And, and Shem, he said, Canaan shall be his servant. Now remember, Canaan was a promised land which God gave Israel. But this man was so blessed that God said, even Canaan will serve you. That was where Terah came from. Let me pray for every good man and woman here who is, the, who is, you are a child of God, you serve God. May you never give birth to children and they will deviate from good foundation. It's also important. Have you not seen some people today, their mama and papa, they go to a but they decide to be native daughter. Talk to me. Now, in that chapter 11, verse 10, let's read. In that chapter 11, these are the generation of Shem. Shem was an hundred years old, and he begat two years. I mean, he begat what? Apex had two years after the flood. Now, verse 11. Shem lived and begat what? Afazad. 500 years and begat sons and daughters. The next verse. And Afazad lived 520 years and begat Selah. If you read down, you see this is the family where he came from. But look at where his problem started. In spite of this, he was an idol, idol, idolater. He's an idol worshiper. Some of you will say, Pastor, how did he know? I want to show you. You know many times I've heard it that Terra was an idol worshiper. Talk to me. How many of you have heard it before? Talk to me. Oh, you never hear. That was his problem. Altar. Somebody shout, evil altar. And I want to show you. He was an idol worshiper. Joshua 24 verse 2. Let's read. Joshua 24 verse 2. And Joshua said unto all the people, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Your father dwelt on the other side of the flood in old time. Are you with me? Even Terah, the father of Abraham, the father of nature, they served what? He deviated. His God created them to serve. He now went and raised strange altar. That was what caged him. Hear me, if you come from a family and your father is an idol worshiper, my dear, you have a lot of joy. He deviated from the truth and began to serve idol. That in caging it was the altar that killed his third son. It was the same altar that covered his the other two sons. God told Abraham, if you want to survive, leave your father's territory. Because where your father is dwelling, there is no blessing. The blessing promised to the family of shame. Your father deviated the moment he raised an altar. Now, that's why you go to some family, you see some people are excelling. Some are not excelling, but the same family. Have you seen it before? Talk to me. So when God saw this, he told Abraham, say, get out of there so that I can change your story. Something happened in one community. A man who gave birth to sons, but this man happened to be a, a strong native doctor. I 
a guy ma din do be sa la nyegi onya bo ro no ke bo may you never bow down to the devil he was a guy me fegi yo mancha a guy ma din do be sa la nyegi onya bo ro no ke bo Hajulamo, Hajulamo. You can soon know ya. Hajulamo, Hajulamo. You can soon know ya. Hajulamo, Hajulamo. Hajulamo, Hajulamo. You can soon know ya. This young man, the father was a very strong native doctor. I'm telling you a story I know. So when the father died, they called the first son and said, Do you know your father? He was a strong man. No be church barrier. They began to count go to count fowl, count ram, count this, count. What they counted was much. So the boy was like, my father has money. Whatever the demand, his money can solve it. But one thing that gave me joy, right from the, when, even when the father was doing what he was doing, the boy chose the word of God. But even though he could not say it openly to the father, now, brethren, let me show you why I sang that song. After they counted, all the good they found, they ran, they gave the dog. What they counted for the boy, the least they gave him for the father's burial. And they told him in seven days' burial, they would do this one, did this one. And he said, when the father was alive, he built bank in their house. Because people were coming. He has a lot of customers and they were carrying money in the bag. Come, he said, The father built a house, no door. All the only thing you can find there is just like a window. That's the way they build a house. That window, that's where they throw money. He said, He never see the father one day go there and collect money. But he told them, Say, This is bank. So they were happy. He said, Their papa, father is a rich man. He said, every day they bring bags of money, they go from that window, they throw them, get him, get him. And you know they collect. So they believe in money, full house. Please, you know. So when they told the boy, the boy told the brother, I said, nothing to fear. This bank, which the father opened, which he didn't withdraw one day, will withdraw from there and solve the problem. Lo and behold, after they left, the boy from that window for the first time he jump enter as he enter the boy couldn't believe it he didn't even see one cover the boy said how because thief doesn't enter their house they have that confidence all this money that they pour he said where and he called the people back and said, now my papa, I thought he kept money, but there's no money there. Hey, how do I do? They said, he should go and look for money. They suffered that boy. They suffered that boy. The boy cried, not just that the father died. The cry was that the punishment with the father gave the children. They, not even, they have to look for money to bury their father. Then after the whole burial, they not told the boy, he said, if you cannot serve this thing, you should remove this thing immediately. The boy said, he don't want to serve. If Papa will serve, wait till he got out of it. People, they run for him. And nothing good. Upon all he has, it was like, it was like, you know, something that happened in the dream. They not told the boy, that there is a small gasket in the father's shrine that he will remove it 12 midnight. Nobody will follow him. He will not use light. He will carry it and get to a particular place in another community and drop it. You see punishment. I think that is a good thing father left the children for the children, right? 
And they gave the boy a date. He said, if that date pass, you go carry this thing. You go serve him. You continue from where your papa stood. The boy said, I better die returning this thing than to be alive to repeat this thing. And the boy crossed his mind. That night, 12 o'clock, he put the thing for her. No light. Nobody follow her. After he dropped it, he ran and left the city. But the joy today is a pastor. What he saw from the father's hand, he warned people, say, don't ever near there. I do. One of my friends, one day, went for Christmas, saw one of his brother who came from Onitsha. He didn't come with moto. He didn't even come with a bag of rice. He came to establish shrine. He said, came. When he told me what he did, I, I, I blamed him, but I, I laughed. He said, when he came down, he, they said, a social person come now on 23rd, on 24th, they did this one for them. And he said, he came after Christmas. They asked him, say, he pack any motor. He said, no. He asked him, mama. My mama said, nothing, no, don't bring anything. Now, that, what did he take, do that juju? Now, he take bring. Neither one go buy for him, because that one is older than him, but not the same mother. But they bear the same surname. Now, he carry forward. When the boy, they sleep. Pull forward there. Push the whole thing down. Pull fire. The boy, they cry. They shout, say, go do it. He told the boy, he said, he won't do anything. He said, the one what our papa do, we are still trying to come out of it. He won't bring joy. He said, your mate, they come back for Christmas, they carry better thing. Now, Juju, you carry come. And he put it at the front of our house. May everybody know that there's nobody here. He said, oh, mommy, he no go up. He told me, say, my brother, I said, how to destroy it. And no one waits it tomorrow. If not fight, may we start the fight now. He said, the one my papa, our grandpapa do, say, we are still on it. We have not come out yet. I pray for you. Now wait. Now, do you know the prayer I'm going to pray this morning? Many of us, our father, our grandfather, our grandmothers, they serve idol. It's only truth we did not serve the idol, but we are partaking from that their mistake. Do you know why? When you were the small number one, we are dedicated to you. We are dedicated to you. didn't know. Some of you were dedicated to that idol. Do you know what this dedication? Dedication means hand over. Did, did you understand that? When something is dedicated to something, that thing, that thing, that thing, when they bring a child to God, automatically God is taking charge, full ownership of that baby. And you, who they dedicate to idol? Amadio. Even when they shout blood, they are not going to tell you, say, but they did the way they bond you. No, be there, they carry you go. And there are prayers you need to pray to disconnect yourself. Have you read Isaiah 49 24? Media don't have the whole time, but I don't know why I'm going this bad today. He said, Shall a prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive? Underline the word lawful. Anything lawful was legal. Because when you are a baby, Galatians told us, even when you are a baby, you have no right to talk or to become a man. So no baby can take decision. When you are a baby, your parents will talk for you. And because your parents took you there, the thing took hold of, the, that, took hold of that person's destiny. Number two, most time when they are doing the festival, they will give you a small piece of meat to go to the chop like from a small piece. You don't know where to the chop. All your own is as meat they sweet you. Talk to me. Number three. The day they backbone you, your placenta, even your navel cord, when it fell, they carry and go there. Hey, hey, see this person. He don't come. He don't come. They reported you there. Number four, what name they gave you? Now you know. Some of you, they didn't just name you. Before they named you, after doing all this process on those altars, 
they went on a journey. Most times at the early stage of life, before men named their children, more especially first son and first daughter. I want to show you why first sons and first daughters are suffering in family. They went back on a journey. Or those who say as to ask who come. Have you heard about incarnation? They go say na nene. Okay, go careful. Oh, you are not hearing me. There are some names you be ask your mama how come about this name. Some of you, if you call, if I give you a microphone now to call your native name, this microphone will scatter. I went to Alaba Market one day, years back. I, I saw a man, a young boy. A young boy. A, I was older than that boy. I'm older than that boy. What's your name? He said, No, Kafa. I said, Kafa, is it a son name? He said, My real name. Even most time when they call people, Nana. You know, it's a common name in Aibo land. Nana. Go and trace why they call that name. Some call out of excitement. But most times, some people call and believe that their grandmama don't come back. Now, now, some people will say, yes, I named my son after my mother. He's good. But let me tell you, there is, you have implication. If you name a child after a man who didn't do well, and more especially is an idol worshiper, the spirit that followed that person will follow that child. Did you hear what I said? Tomorrow I will show you from the Bible. You see, name get power. Name. This man, Judah, who is a very strong name in Israel, Genesis 20, uh, 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 31 to, uh, uh, chapter 30, verse 25. I mean, 29, 35. Genesis 29, 35. Let me read that one. Her mothers, please, if you born children, don't just go carry dictionary, they call name. I saw a man, what's your name? He said, Tera. I said, Your mama, I blame them. You know, see Abraham give you call you Tera. Wait till they Wait till <laughs> Genesis 29, 35. And she conceived again and bare a son and called and bare a son. And she said, What did she say? Now I will praise the Lord. Therefore, she called his name what? Judah. And let me add it. Judah means praise. When their father wants to bless them, he gave every all of them inheritance. But when he gets to Judah, he said, The scepter shall not depart from Judah. Or the love giver. So they handed the mantle of Israel to Judah. In Judges chapter 1 verse 2. Read. Read. Power of name. And the Lord said, Judah shall go up. Now verse 1. Wait. Verse 1. Because the father called him a leader. The mother said, your name shall be praises. The papa said, you are a leader. Now let's see what happened. Now after the death of Joshua, and it came to pass that the children of Israel asked the Lord, saying, who shall go up for us against the Canaanite first to fight? Wait, now we didn't finish verse 1. To fight against them. Then verse 2. And the Lord said, Judah shall go up. Behold, behold I have delivered the land. He didn't just start that day, the father. Every mother here, you are a prophetess to your children. Forget the name where they see on social media. Confirm what is the meaning before you give that girl a snake. You know, there are some names today. I don't want to mention her. You know, there are some names today. The meaning is serpent. Just because you saw a Yibo film like this, they call the name, the name they sweet you the way they call her. Now you're born. And the girl now. He fine for face, but the character I know fine finish. Now so it she the meow like. <laughs> Somebody shout the blood of Jesus. You see this thing? Please find out the name they gave you. I went to a, a family. Somebody told me that if you born your first son, you name it to your father. You born your first daughter, you name it to your mother. It's a culture. My dear, you must break it. Your mama did not go out of school. You don't go abroad. Now you want to name this child. You want him to be an international star to your mama. Even though your mother didn't serve idol, remember there is power.
power in what we say. I told you, John means grace. Do you know when the parents wanted to name Luke chapter, Luke 1, right? Verse 59. Maybe I will end this message there, then I pray. Luke 1, 59. And she saw 59. And it came to pass on that eighth day that they circumcised the child and they called his name Zacharias after the name of his father. But verse 60, what happened? And the mother answered and said, Not so. She shall, he shall be called what? John. Now look at the look at the argument, verse 61. You must break culture. And I pray that your children, hear me, every genuine parents here, whether you want to be a parent, you are already parent. You must believe it that your children will enter where you did not enter. If you are not didn't go to school, you it's possible you give birth to professors, you give birth to lawyers and doctors. Talk to me. If your children end where you end, my dear, the battle continues. Put it. They said to her, There is none of thy kindred that is called by this name. Now, go to verse 13. When this boy was about to come, the angel said, His name is not Zachariah. Even though his father was a prophet, but do you know at times it's possible you are a pastor but there is cause hanging on your head talk to me but the angel said fear not Zachariah the prayer have been heard and thy wife shall Elizabeth shall bear his son and thou shalt call his name John the full meaning apart from hand of grace the full meaning if I may describe the name John John means gracious God Gracious God, or a gracious gift, Mama. Those your children, what did you call them? What name do they bear? As men are calling their name, is like a prophecy over their destiny. A woman called a daughter, piece of calabash. Why? They listen. And this thing happened, started right from early time. You know, you know they hear Mr. Onwu, Onwa Jona, Onwe Buna, Onwu Ndo, Onwu this. These are women who lost children. They are not trying to use name to appease the name of, to appease the spirit of dead. Talk to me. You are not talking, you are pretending like you never hear. So he called the girl piece of calabash. And somebody asked us, why you call this name? He said, you know, they hard, they go break. And that girl was returning from school one day, almost in conclusion of secondary school. She didn't look road. Afternoon like this, enter road. Ah! Before they called the mama come, she done that. Mama said, I talk, I'm not a piece of calabash. You know, they hard, he go break. It was the mother's fault. The spirit that attacked that child came from the voice of the mother. Am I talking to parents here? Young girls, name your children well. Name them Saxon. Name them Samuel. Name them Isaac. Name that. There are some names in the Bible that is, is a biblical name, but you don't need them. Terra. Where do the Terra fall? No, tell me, Pastor, you never see Terra for the Bible. I don't see her, but I don't need Terra. I want Abraham. Not even Abraham. Or you go call and Cain. You don't see anybody who born begin calling Judas. Ah, talk to me. He's an apostle. Oh. <laughs> so there are names in the Bible you don't need. Stretch your hand. Look at my prayer for you. Whatever that is fighting you from your foundation, from bed. If there is any altar involved as you turn that amen, you are out of it. Amen. Now stand up. I wish I had my time. You see, I'm, I, because I'm a little bit talking about the altar. Your dedication. Or let me start it. After your bed, your placenta. I asked you the other day, where is your placenta? You don't know. It's your parents that will explain what they did with it. 
And young girls who are coming up, you want to marry, get this knowledge before you start giving birth. Even as you deliver as a woman, you deliver. Your placenta know who collected it, know what they are doing with it. Not for your sake, but for the sake of the destiny of that child. In my culture, where I come from, if a song never called for, they go put them for pan wine tree. How many of you? Are, uh, uh, yeah? They'll go, they'll plant pan wine tree, bury them by that tree. If the pan wine produce well, well, they say, hey, they seem good. But if the pan wine no produce, you know, times some pan wine no they produce. How many of you know that if you grew up in the village? They say, hey, oh, Nadia will bury uh, Navricord. But let me tell you, none of those things, whether they, if that pan wine produce, number one, you have allowed the spirit of alcohol to enter that boy. Uh. You go bury and now, so it will be producing kai kai every, anytime when you see him, pan wine, not a free for him out. Because it's a close neighbor. In fact, it's a pan wine factory. I need to open your eyes, you know. Family liberation, I teach a lot. I'm telling you, number two, palm wine is a tree. Palm wine tree is a tree that does not last. I prefer palm tree than palm wine. It's a tree that produces once and never produces again. Number two, if a man's navel cord is pro planted by the palm wine tree, that's why you see somebody, once in his life, he may make money, but never make money again till he die. Palm wine life. Pan wine spirit life. Talk to me. If pan wine produce, do they do they tap it twice? No, once. So that man is just living for for once one opportunity. The moment he caught it, that is all. Destiny don't finish because that is where the navel is planted. Then number three, what name they give you? After naming, where do they dedicate to you? Because what I'm saying is, at times I'll say, say something. Say it boldly, brother. There is power in it. Lift up your hand, shout it. Father! I, King Silly, I represent the of family. You authors of my father's house. I believe you can hear me. You will not deal with me the way you deal with my father. Greater than my father is here. Shout it, I can seal him walk. Better still put all your name. I can seal it, don't you go walk. I represent walk of family. What kill others at the early age will never kill me and my children. What swallow their destiny will not swallow mine. In the name of Jesus, I will not repeat the history of my father. Put amen loud. Look at this, the second prayer. Shout in my father, my maker. Every power, any power that wants me to suffer what my parents suffer. Da! Oh, yeah, pray. Let your voice be loud. Any power that want me to suffer what my parents suffer, you are a liar. I will not repeat their history. In Jesus' name we pray. Number three, shouting, I refuse to repeat any negative history of my parents. Did you hear what I said? I refuse to repeat 
every negative history, negative experience of my parents shouted, I cancel it all to go out. Refuse to repeat every negative experience of my parents in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer prophetically. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Number four, pray this one with anger in your spirit. Shout it, oh Lord. Oh. If you understand it, let your voice be loud and clear. Oh. Move, me Move me from back seat of failure. To the front seat of success. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let's repeat it. Then you go. Shout it. Oh Lord. Oh, Lord. Move me now. Move me from the back seat of failure. Oh, to the front seat of success. Now in the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, pray. Pray, you watching me there, pray. Something is happening there. Aha. Jesus name we pray amen, 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 amen. This one as you pray Lay your right hand on your head You are the prophet to your destiny now Shout it King Sili to You are the solution to your family problem Declare you are the solution You are the solution You are the, you are the answer In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Now we are taking our final prayer point. But this is going to, the fire of God will enter this one now. Somebody's deliverance is taking place right now. If you pray, as, see, as you pray this prayer, close your eyes. See yourself in that family where you marry. See yourself, yourself in that family where they born you. Let me show you the prayer point. Genesis chapter 12 verse 4. Genesis 12 verse 4. 
Genesis 12, the first part of that scripture. So Abraham departed as the Lord has spoken unto him, and Lot went with him. Do you know what I call Lot? The spirit of your father's house. Some people there, America, the spirit of your papa's house, stay with them there. Some people there, Europe, waiting there, their papa house, follow them, enter plane to make sure they monitor them that the same way they were living here, the same way over there. Some of us will know they go village, but we are not different from those in the village because something from there is they have entered or follow us. Now, shall be my father. Every trace of my father's house inside of me. Go! Every trace of my father's house in my life. What are you waiting for? Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. Oh, you pray. Oh, shall move right now. Every trace of your papa house, every trace of your mama house that is swallowing you, that is swallowing you. Oh, shall move around. I command it right now. Get out. Somebody help me. Every trace of your papa house, every trace of your father's house. Get out. Get out. Get out. Aha. Uh -huh. He's coming out. He's coming out. That thing that says you marry like others, you will die like others, you will not succeed like others, your marriage will not favor you. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Who shall help me there? Every trace of your papa. The way others no marry, you no go marry. They know papa, you no go born. They find children, I saw you go find. Come out. Place your two hands, close your eyes, command it. Anything that look my papa problem, any trace of my papa's house, every trace of my father's altar, inside of me, what are you waiting for? From my head to the sole of my feet, fire, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Close your eyes, see yourself in that house. Whatever in that house you don't like, command it. Let it not enter me. May I never be like that. If it have been existing, your time is out. Oh, shall move around. I see something going about seven of them. Yes, I see your freedom. I see your freedom. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Something is happening here. Oh, shall watch it. I see about five of them. The thing that cage your star suddenly break, suddenly break, suddenly break, suddenly break. The thing that cover your marriage, that cover your joy, that cover you as a young man. Yes, yes. That cover your children is already broken. Something is happening. In Jesus' name. Swear that to him to wear this altar. Close your eyes. Yes. Whether you're watching online, whether you're here, I connect you to this altar by the word of God. 
Every error, every mistake, every failure, every setback, limitation, pain in your life as a result of foundation. As you close your eyes, turn that amen to it and be liberated. Yes. I shall watch it. That thing they took from you as a result of this battle. Your marriage, your document, your staff, your business, opportunity. As you turn that M3 and recover, recover, recover. Aha, uh aha, -huh, aha. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. Rejection in marriage, rejection. People suddenly reject you. People suddenly reject you. Your spirit of rejection. Get out. Watch out, watch it. Rejection. Rejection. You are married. Look as if you are not married. Rejection. People never talk. They play a blessing to you. Those who did good to you, they never tell you thank you. Get out. Near success, almost married. She, he, he, the man almost married me. I almost traveled. I almost got for his visa. Nearly cannot kill a bear. You spirit of nearly. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Get out. Every spirit of Obi is a boy. Ada is a girl. Obi is a boy. He never grow to a man. Ada is a girl. He never be a woman. Today, you are free from that limitation. In the name of Jesus. Another, the loudest. Hold that sand. And that oil. Look at my scripture for that prayer today. Acts chapter 12 verse 10. Please, fast my time today. I've used my time. Now, bear this in mind. I said something before you came. I move as a... Sorry for changing some of the announcement. Friday evening, no evening. Morning, I will do morning on Friday. Morning on Saturday. Because these are my two major days I have to complete my assignment. Sunday, I pronounce blessing and I let you go. But I want to make sure I hear testimonies I want to hear. So Friday, I will take a little bit like this. Then I'm going to do some part of the administration. Then you go home, gather strength, come back. Because Saturday, I may hold you till 10 o'clock until I'm done with my assignment. But the answer is that your 2023 will not be like 2010. Do you know there are some people, they are yay. Instead of getting better, it's reducing. They will tell you last year for better. Even COVID-19 year was far better. God forbid. Acts 12 verse 10. Please fast media, give it to me. And when they were past the first and second world, they came to the iron gate that led onto the city. Iron gate that led to the city. Stand to your feet. I decree over that land. Your city will not be like village. Yeah. That house where you are living, you will not live outside blessing. Yeah. The Bible said this gate that lead to the city. That was, they locked Peter out. I bless that lamb for you. Yeah. If anybody lock you out of that market, that bad lock is broken. Yeah. If anybody locks you out of marital success, that chain is broken. Yeah. If anybody locks you out of financial blessing, that chain is broken. Yeah. I bless your land. Yeah. I bless the land for you. You will succeed. Yeah. From today, go and excel. Yeah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Yeah. That oil in your hand, I declare that bottle of oil in the hand of Jacob that he left his father's house. After this meeting, as you use this oil, every of your lost glory recover in a hurry. Yeah. Every good thing God has planted inside of you that the enemy caged, altar caged, in the name of Jesus, I unveil all. Look at my prayer. 
Because some of you will use this oil, you go Christmas amongst your family members. Anyone that touch this oil will shine like a light. Everyone that received this oil from your hand, whatever God created them for, the moment they use it to touch their head, their destiny will manifest out. Above all, you will not die young. As you carry this oil, premature death will run for you. Untimely death will run for you. Premature death will run for you. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Another amen. The loudest amen.